The Rock Metal Podcast, episode 52 with Blood Region. All right, Rock Metal Nation, I've got on the line today of Blood Region, a metal band from Finland, and I'm super stoked to have them on today. I am joined by members of Blood Region, Sammy and Mika. Sammy, Mika, welcome to the show. Thanks, thanks. Thank you, yeah. We're all here. Yeah. Mika here, guitars Sam. and vocals. Sammy here, drummer. And the rest of the guys are not here at the moment, but uh, in spirit, yeah. They're... Beautiful. And I'll get... Yeah. Why don't you guys tell us about yourselves? Maybe what inspired you guys, to, you know, to start playing the guitar, start playing the drums. What inspired you guys to get into music? Well, the music has always been present, as I remember, recall, since I was a little kid. So it's been present all the time, and uh, listening to you know the classic metal, Metallica, Iron Maiden, ACDC, all this kind of usual stuff. And it's been following all the years, and that's kind of for the. Uh, it's in the blood, so to speak. It's a very natural thing, I think. Very true, very true. Now, how did you guys meet each other? How did the current lineup uh, come to be? Well, yeah, we all grew up in a small town called Karastula. Um, the circles are really small around there, and so. Since we're kids, we knew each other from different groups we used to play and, you know, having drinks together and, and screwing around. So it was a natural thing in somewhat to play together at some point. And we began at some, sometime uh, about 2002, I think, just meeting up in some bars and drinking and just thinking we should play hanging, something. Hanging out and, and we go... Same school. Yeah. It's uh, It was pretty natural that we started to play and do our own thing, own songs and cover songs and so on. Cool stuff. Now, what inspired the name Blood Region? Well, it refers to the to these roots, in a way. The small town, the, the region that we grew up in, is, uh, is a, this small town in the middle of the woods. And um, it's kind of this referring to the blood region, to this, to our roots in a way, and uh, the places we grew up and the music we listened and uh, so on. So it's kind of uh, that symbolic meaning to it in a way. And it was, uh, when we started, it was a clear choice that we, it was blood region that we choose to play under. And it sums up pretty much about us and everything. It's blood region. Sounds good. <laughs> it does, it does. And it's uh, <laughs> got some meaning behind it too, which is really cool stuff. Now, when you guys get her to write songs, what's that process like? Well, it's uh, pretty much depends on on some songs come real naturally. We jam up and have some ideas what kind of a song we are going to do and some we have a little bit of discussions what what kind of arrangement we do and it's uh it depends on uh, but uh, I would say the jamming and the the idea and the whole the part of arranging the songs sometimes they come really quickly and sometimes it takes time so it's a bit of this mishmash in a way that's the way we do the songs. Okay, let's go and listen to the first song, Old Painless.
Okay, coming back from Old Painless, which actually there's going to be a, a music video for that as well posted on the show notes for today. Uh, so Rock Metal Nation, go ahead and go to rockmetalpodcast.ca. You can see the music video for the song that you just heard on the show notes today. But obviously my, my question for you boys, you gents, is what's the story behind Old Painless? Well, it's a, it's an old song. It's a whole composition by... By uh, Ari, the vocalist and guitarist, he did it years back, and uh, almost ten years ago. Yeah, and uh, the compositions, it's Ari's, and uh, he had done done the structures. The rest of the guys arranged it for good, and uh, the other guitarist, Alexi Mercy, came with the title for the. For the track uh, from the, you know, movie Predator, the All Painless. And the lyrical concept is uh, about that movie, so it is, uh, it's about Arnold and the guys. <laughs> but it's, uh, you know, we're all fans of the movie. It's a great movie, so and, uh, it kind of suits that trash, trash, trashish way, so it was pretty natural. All right, let's go listen to the next track, New Rising.
All right, coming back from New Rising, similar question for you. What is the story or inspiration behind New Rising? Well, it was, uh, uh, we recorded the EP of Northern Fire back a uh, year and a half, some, some time ago. So, and we had that idea of when we came back that we should do a single song a bit. A little bit of different. Yeah, with a more rock element to it. So... Sami and I, we're jamming and just playing this, what was eventually about to be, the new rising, and uh, it slowly started to take its form, and uh, Sami came with the title, New Rising, and the lyrical concept is really pretty much sums to its chorus when, you know, throw in the darkness, throw the fear away, it's all about that, you know, and uh, it was, we recorded it a year back then uh, as a single song. It's about, you know, good energy and good vibes and going on through the struggles. What exciting news do you guys have coming up for Rock Metal Nation to pay attention to? Well, at the moment, we're on a break, so to speak. Uh, we have uh, uh, some plans for the next summer's end and on the autumn, something is going to coming up where we're not telling any further about it, but you should stay alert about something cool. So there's going to be some new new stuff and worth the wait, so to speak. All right, so Rock Metal Nation, we've got some potential plans for Autumn, so stay alert for something cool coming, potentially some new stuff. Definitely worth the wait. So my next logical question is, is there a website that Rock Metal Nation should go to so that they can stay up to date with what's going on? Well, Facebook has, you know, the blog region, there's all, all the information, pretty much. So that's the main, main information. And uh, from all the YouTube and all from the net, you can find us pretty much everywhere, Spotify and so on. So it's uh... really good stuff. So Rock Metal Nation, go ahead and head over to Facebook, Spotify. You can also go to the rockmetalpodcast.ca if you're not already there for today's show notes. And all of the necessary links will be there so that you can keep in touch with Blood Region. Because if you definitely dug the tracks that you've heard today, you like everything that you've heard, then you're going to want to keep in touch with Blood Region, especially when they are going to be coming to your town and taking over that town. So, guys... Unless there's anything else you wanted to throw out there, I just wanted to thank you for coming on to the show and sharing your creativity with Rock Metal Nation. Yeah, thanks a lot to you. It's, it means a lot to us, and we hope all the best to you and the whole Canadian regioners, so to speak. Thanks a lot. You rock. Rock Metal Nation, hopefully you just found your new favorite band in Blood Region. Big thanks again for them for coming on and sharing their music with us. Make sure to head over to www.therockmetalpodcast.ca to get all the information on the show you just heard today. And until then, rock on, Rock Metal Nation.